here in Newland Stadium, wrapping up Tennessee's 45 to 20 win over South Carolina. Vince Farrar, alongside Josh Ward from Sports 180. This is really another <laughs> incredible performance right out of the jump. Another 28 point first quarter, Josh. Just really stunning how different Tennessee fans are seeing the offense compared to what they've seen in recent years. Very much so. It's kind of funny in the, partly the second quarter, but the second half, it felt like the game was over and you're just waiting for it to end. I think maybe the players had that kind of energy because they had taken care of it so quickly. By the end of the first quarter, we knew what the end result was going to be unless something miraculous happened for South Carolina and South Carolina, frankly, is not good enough to do that. So, uh, the, the offense comes out firing and Hinden Hooker's making plays again and Ty and Evans is somebody to pay attention to but his ability in the running game with everything that they want to do it is night and day from what Tennessee fans saw last year and isn't that a big part of the conversation that fans uh, that, that one just wanted to see football that's more fun yeah and then if you can have success in the process that's what Tennessee has experienced the last couple of weeks against the two teams from Columbia yeah TBD on what this team can do in wins and losses long term when especially when the competition steps up but they're getting that entertainment you talked about and they give themselves a fighting chance, at least, with a competent and comparable offense that you know you need in today's college football. That's the other part of it is we'll see long term and recruiting. We can have all those conversations. Right. We've had and we will continue to. But one thing that is very obvious, you have to score points if you're going to win at a high level. If you're going to ultimately catch up with Alabama and, and Georgia with what they do, you know who the best teams are. You better be able to score. You can win a few games here or there, 17, 13, 21, 20. Not many of them, especially if you're trying to win championships. So in the long run, they need the offensive game plan to be right. They need the players to go with them. The offensive game plan so far looks really good with Josh Heifel. Yeah, tempo outstanding. Boy, we continue to see efficient and quality quarterback play from Hendon Hooker. Such a difference than what we've seen in years since Josh Dobbs at that position. Yeah, and it's two things. He's making plays, which you know, fans are really excited about. He's also, to this point, avoiding mistakes. And right. Remember the Pittsburgh game made some mistakes? That's also a game where he didn't start. He came in in the middle of the game, and he's clean some things up when pressures come I think he's made some pretty good calls with what to do with the the football he has the ability to uh, get away from pressure that's not always going to happen and he, he went down a few times today but he has the ability to escape and not make bad decisions and if that happens if he's making plays and if he's avoiding big mistakes that can create opportunities for the offense to be really explosive and put a lot of points in the board. You know we wondered early on you know where is Valus Jones what's going on with Jalen Hyatt took Vailus Jones a couple of games because he was banged up, but boy, they moved him to the slot. He is really impacting games. And then Jalen Hyatt, the South Carolina native, with his best game so far this season. Yeah, touchdown early. Maybe they wanted a touchdown to be there in the box score so they can talk to future <laughs> South Carolina yeah. and say, hey, look at what the South Carolina kid did for us in the first quarter against the Gamecocks. But uh, they have a number of weapons, and Vailus Jones, I think, was slow to get things started at the beginning of the season uh, as he was not 100% healthy coming out of the camp, but his speed is very obvious and playmaking ability and Javante Payton, mm -hmm. another touchdown for him. He was an addition coming in in the offseason. Probably didn't get that much attention because of the receivers coming back, but they've got some options and, and still room to grow. But playmaking ability and different ways to get guys involved. Cedric Hillman's a guy that's still going to be, I think, heavily involved, especially in red zone situations. Uh, a number of players that they can that they can get the ball to. And Jacob Warren, we haven't talked about him the last couple weeks, but we've seen the season. He's an option as well as a, a tight end receiver. Uh, four straight games for Peyton now with a touchdown reception. Tyon Evans, more than 100 yards rushing uh, on the ground again for the Vols, including a long run. And then real quick, Josh, this defense continues to play well with a lot of guys missing. Missing, missing on the offensive line, but a number of guys missing on defense. Brandon Turnage, the game-high 14 tackles in that nickel spot in place at Theo Jackson. Yeah, and they'll find things on tape where Brandon needs to get better, but mm -hmm. th this was a really good game for him to play. You don't want the reason to be because a number of guys are out for injury, but they're still trying to build depth. Turnage is one of the players they brought in as a transfer where uh, maybe they haven't been totally comfortable playing him. I'd say that's obvious by his lack of playing time, but he stepped up today with those tackles you mentioned. There are going to be a lot of tackles to be had next week with yeah. Ole Miss coming to town. That's a game where we're going to talk a lot about the offense this week and the defense on both sides will be really tested. Yeah, so Tennessee, another really impressive performance. Out of the gate, Tennessee rolls over South Carolina 45-20. to 20. 
Al Wilson, the VFL of the game, and leading the team in the vol walk. The, you got the dark mode, black jerseys that are on display, and Tennessee ha sends everyone home with a victory. Make sure you check all of our content out at 991thesportsanimal.com. And then Sunday Sports Sound Off, Jimmy Himes and VFL, Tim Irwin, Sunday morning from 8 to 10 a.m. And then all next week, all our local shows will have it covered for you starting at 6 a.m. And then Josh and Heather at noon and we'll keep going through sports talk for josh ward i'm vince ferrara thanks for watching it's our wrap-up of tennessee's win over south carolina and moved to four and two on the season two and one in sec play thanks for watching see ya